Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering the African wild dog. Now, the African wild dog is one of the world's most endangered animals and can be identified by its long legs and irregular fur patterns. It's also called the African hunting dog, cape hunting dog, or just the painted dog, which literally means painted wolf. It refers to the mottled fur colored pattern that covers this animal's body. This canine species is native to the grasslands, forests, and deserts of Sub-Saharan Africa, and is the only living member of the genus Lycan. These African predators can weigh up to 80 pounds and be three feet, seven inches in length and stand about two and a half feet tall at the shoulders, making them relatively large, especially if you have a domesticated dog in mind. This animal also has the title of being the most efficient hunter of any big predator with an 85% or higher success rate, often living and hunting in packs of up to 15 members. And differing from the more common genus Canis, it has specialized teeth for hypercarnivorous diets and no duke laws. It's the largest wild canine species in Africa and the second largest in the world after the gray wolf. For prey, it targets several species of large African grazers, warthogs, hares, cane rats, and insects, which shows that although it's now rare, it is one of the most capable wild dogs. Now, there are five different types of African wild dogs, although there's only one specific species. In most places, the quote-unquote wild dog is often associated with a house dog gone feral, but the African wild dog is something else altogether. And unlike its house dog relatives, they're a species under severe threat with only around 6,000 left in the wild. Now, for some people, especially those that don't have experience with African wildlife, it can be challenging to differentiate between the five subspecies of African wild dogs, with most of them looking fairly similar. These subspecies include the Cape wild dog, which is actually the largest of the subspecies and the most vibrant in color and pattern. Then we also have the East African wild dog, followed by the West African wild dog, the Chadian wild dog, and lastly but not least, the Somali wild dog, which is actually the smallest on the list and are the easiest to visually separate from the rest. Being geographically located around different areas in Tanzania, Zimbabwe, Namibia, South Africa, Botswana, Mozambique, and Zambia. And although they prefer woodlands, they can be found outside heavily forested areas, with lions being their major natural predator. So understandably, they tend to avoid areas where lions congregate. Similar to wolves, all five types of African wild dogs form dens, which are usually abandoned areas such as hog holes or areas that aardvarks had previously dug out. Their highly social nature and these dens also make for an excellent raising and protecting ground for their pups, not to mention the vulnerable females when they're birthing a new litter. Interestingly, their dens also function as a semi-hospital with the dogs protecting their own and an injured wild dog will remain in place while the rest of the pack brings it food until it's ready to hunt again. And to witness them hunt is something amazing because African wild dogs can run over 40 miles per hour and can maintain that speed for many, many miles. Matter of fact, they're literally known as endurance hunters, being able to run any of their prey until they get tired. They're very coordinated while hunting as well, strategically focusing on a single animal with occasional exceptions. And due to their speed, vast endurance, pack hunting capabilities, and powerful jaws, there's not much that the African wild dog can't take down. Of course, other than a few obvious heavy hitters, such as lions, crocodiles, hippos, rhinos, and elephants. But still keep in mind that their prey mainly consists of the same things that lions hunt. That being said, African wild dogs do have a specific taste though. They prefer impala, water buck, blue wildebeest, African buffalo, red buck, and the great kudu, with impalas easily being noted as the favorite thing on their menu. Unfortunately though, we may not have the privilege of observing this African wild dog roam around for much longer. Mostly due to human activities, they are the second most endangered animal on the entire African continent. And especially since they're not too different from our beloved domesticated breeds, let's hope that these amazing animals are able to replenish their numbers soon. Now, 
For their abilities and their influence on their habitat, for my one to three rating, I'll give the African wild dogs as a pack a three, which is an apex rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to find the perfect predator.